Hi, I'm Travis Woodard, and uh, I want to talk to you today about uh, about just basic riding commands. And I I fell in love with breaking colts with my granddad. He was a real good horseman, and he was always on me about about you need to get those those horses the neck rein better. And, and he wasn't very good about explaining anything to me, so it, he kind of left me just to figure that stuff out. Well, it, it's taken me half my life to really understand what he was talking about, but. Anybody's been to a rope and seen a guy be laid in the turn and he, and he reins over across himself and his horse's nose tipped out or he pulls on him and his horse roots against the tie down and against the bridle. And uh, you know, how that, how that stuff is done is, is in your ring snaffle. So when I get my ring snaffle on and I get on a young horse, you know, you see a lot of guys and they, and they just pull and then they're just plow reining him plow reining him around and trying to get him where they go and then they and then they get him where they can ride him in lope circles and they call that good enough but it's not it's not when you when you go to start breaking a coal or a young horse the first thing you want to do is is get him to break in the pole and get him to respect that bridle and when I pull I need his face to come down with me so how you start doing that in the beginning is you do get a little shorter rein and you gently pull and I like to squeeze with my legs too. I gently squeeze with my legs and then and then from there I just apply more and more pressure until he breaks and then when he gives, I give. And at the very beginning, even if you're doing it on an older horse, just as soon as you get anything, boy, give back and total relief like that. You don't want to give halfway if he just starts to think about it. And then as you get as you get up and progress and he gets better and better at it, you know, then you can start asking him to hold it down there longer and then give back. And then you can start then you can start asking him to do it at a walk or a trot. And and I always try to keep my legs pushed in him because that's the that's the next place that I I apply pressure. I try to break him down in the body. Don't just pull on his face and pull harder. Try to push him up into the bridle with your legs and get him and get him soft in his face where he knows that when I pull, that means give me your face, not root against it. Okay, the next the next thing that you want to do is is talking about turning left and right. I try to keep my reins completely completely out of him, you know. And then I I'm gonna just ask him to walk straight, and then I'm gonna push. I'm gonna lay this rein against his neck and ask him to turn. And if he doesn't turn, then I pull and then I give back. Then I'm gonna lay this rein across his neck and like he's doing it right there. He's coming across. This is a four-year-old horse that I broke, like I said. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna train him the other way. And I'm just gonna apply that pressure. And you can see there's no tension on this right rein. He's all he's only doing that with the with the with the rein against his neck. You know, so at the end of the day, as you get better and better at it, you can have your split reins just in the in your hand, and all you need is that is that pressure against his neck. To get him to go whatever way you'd like him to go. You know, and then you say, and then you say, well, okay, now I got my reins like this. How do I stop it? Well, the reiners that I I've been around say you sit down, say whoa, and then pull. You know, so in the beginning, you're taking it. You're taking a horse like this that that just plow reins around. But every time I go to stop him. Every time, and I'm doing all this stuff at a walk at the barely, at barely the beginning. Remember, so at a walk, I'm gonna say, "Whoa," and then I'm gonna give it back to him, and I may love on him, I may squeeze and ask him to break, and then I'm gonna go back to my neck rein. And never after I stop do I want to walk him forward. I'm gonna make him go left or right. I'm gonna rein across him. I'm gonna try to stay out of his mouth. See, if I get in his mouth, that's punishment. You know, you don't, you don't want to be whipping and jerking and what are you doing? You just want, you want him to love the bridle and love your spurs and love the equipment and not be afraid of it you know so it's really important not to get after him and make him scared of this stuff you got to make him understand that hey when i apply when you feel this rain i don't know if i said this or not but i try to use really really heavy reins and a heavy ring snaffle so the commands are real clear you know you don't want real light tackle if i see a guy riding a ring snaffle with real light reins you're telling me that this horse is really broke and really light you know, you don't even have to hardly do anything. Whoa. So, if you just build on that stuff further and further, the same, the same thing with backing up. Backing up's a simple command, and you see a lot of guys just jerk and try to run him over backwards, but that's not how you do it. You, pull, you gently pull, and then I like to move my legs forward, and then I like to kick on him and make him come backwards off that pressure. So 
the finished horse, the finished horse, you don't even need this bridle. You can, you can just, he should be able to ride around with just this pressure right here that I'm applying with my hand. He should go, he should go wherever I want him to go. And remember, he knows the stop command, so it's whoa, and he stops. And you know, as he gets better and better at that stuff, you can challenge him and ask him, and ask him to trot. do everything because he knows the commands and they're clear you know whoa whoa and he should back up with, with no bridle or anything so and you can do that with a with a seasoned uh, I mean not a seasoned rope horse but if you got something whoa if you got something that's at home that when you pull across him he reins out like that you need to get your ring snaffle and go back and do some of that neck rein and work and lay that big old heavy rein across his neck and give him the opportunity to go. And then if he doesn't, then pull and then give relief. And same thing with both ways. And that's how you get a horse really, really light and doing what you want him to do.